Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Richard Maitley. All of my four kids ended up going to uni, but one of them, uh, she'd only been there for two terms, basically, for about six months. Um, she phoned home one day and said, Dad, I'm just not enjoying it here, and I don't think it's, it's serving me right. I want to come back and get, and get a job. I said, well, then do it. And so she left, and it was the best thing she ever did. So you can always change your mind. mind exactly. You, you can't muck about when it comes to your own kids. How do you think we should be funding university degrees? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> if you, you don't have to answer if you don't have an answer. No, I mean... Mind. I'll just speak over you. Do we have too many universities? That's a good question. Uh, no, I don't. I don't accept that. I'll see you read me, uh, me, me old uh, fishy on a dishy. I don't think it's one or the other. I think our universities make a really big and important contribution to our economy, to our towns and cities. I certainly know that as an MP in Sunderland, where the university has opened up opportunities for adult learners as well as for our young people. But absolutely, we do need to do more to ensure that there are really strong and good apprenticeships there for our young people as well. Right, you've gone again. Good night. People are saying, how do you commute from New York to uh, the UK? That's five and a half hours. Wow, isn't that too much? I used to live in Norwich. I could. <laughs> yeah. I kid you not. Yeah. It how long did it take you to get from Norwich to London? Sometimes five hours. Yeah. And that was the yeah. train being cancelled and having to line up for a cash machine uh -huh. because you had to pay in cash because the cab drivers were so fed up of Norwich passengers having to get off somewhere and use cabs. What do you think of the pedestrianisation of Norwich city centre? Don't even get me started on that. I'm sure you've lifted your game since then. That's not why people kiss their dogs, is it? Um, and if you just think about it for a second, right, you don't actually exchange lips and tongue with your dog. But many I, people I don't do. exchange lips and tongues with my dog, but I'm not scared of a bit of dog lip. You, yeah, yeah, you know, you, I go and I give them a kiss on their fur. Well, I mean, they lick well, their fur, so whatever's it? on their tongue is going to be on their fur. Well, then just so you can't really make that distinction. Let me give you this scenario. Boofy sees another dog when you're out walking, oh, yeah. and it licks the other dog's bottom. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Nazis burnt books. These guys went further. They burnt a library. Do you think, Debbie, and I speak as someone who worked in Liverpool for many years, as you know, on this morning and on the local news programme before that, so I know Liverpool pretty well. Um, and I know that it's not, it's not the kind of place to take this kind of stuff lying down. You, you simply don't accept it. <clears throat> I'm 68. What do you think you get? Kate made a really good point earlier. Well, before did we I? Came, yeah, we Frankly, did, yeah. This before is we, news. Before we came on air. <laughs> no, she said, you said if you take the total number of medals oh, yes. that seem that team to be UK won, um, we came third. Back of the net. 